the blocks quick. Take your marks. They're away. McKeon in lane four. Next to her, Kate Campbell. On the other side, Bronte Campbell. Bronte didn't get the best of starts. McKeon's out in front. Kate Campbell's going with her, though. Maddie Wilson, not far away. Maddie Wilson is, is about half a body length behind. Will she get close enough at this turn? Well, McKeon was out very, very fast. Her underwater was sensational. Broke up and started rating very, very quick. Kate has gone with her through in this first 50. Super quick, 24.9. Only five one hundredths of a second between them. Emma, of course, really worked the underwater and starts to take the edge off Kate now. And here comes Kate Campbell as well. They're both right on world time. That's Emma McKeon in the black cap. Kate Campbell in the white cap. Campbell, McKeon. McKeon might have edged her. Bronte Campbell's not far away either. McKeon could be taking this. They're coming. It's going to be very close. McKeon's just in front. You'll get there, McKeon. Kate Campbell second. Wilson's third. She's there for the relay. Kate Campbell will be able to take that shot and a gold medal in Tokyo. She's on the plane. She's got the swim. But Emma McKeon's got the win. 52.35. Three of our women under 53 seconds. That's absolutely motoring. I can't wait to see that women's 4 by one freestyle relay. It was a tight race. It was a real race. It wasn't about a time tonight. It was about getting in that top two position. I think both Emma and Kate really took it out. And Hackey, Bronte Campbell has finished fifth, so she's thereabouts in terms of the relay discussions as well. I think they'll definitely have to take five or six members of that team because they want to rest their top women for the final. Here we are underwater with Emma McKean who got off to a flying start, but Kate matched her. It was very, very tight in that underwater 13 or 14 metres that they took. And you can hear, see riding with the both of them coming into this first turn. It really was neck and neck, five one hundredths of a second between them. You can just see how fast the butterfly black gown with Emma McKean, how she comes off that wall, goes a little bit deeper than what Kate does, broke out very well, but Kate wasn't giving in. She was holding on all the way to the wall. Her stroke rate stayed up tonight, which was super impressive. And Maddie Wilson, you could see on the outside there, was absolutely steaming home. I'd love to know her last 50 split because I think it would be the fastest out of the entire field. She did that this morning, didn't she? She came home the quickest in the field. She wasn't just quite close enough. But uh, Bronte as well didn't get the greatest of starts, but then motored down that first 50 and was able to hold on for fifth. So there they are, McKeon Campbell, Wilson, Harris, Bronte Campbell and Molly O'Callaghan. Throssell seventh. Probably out of the discussion for the relays, even though she is going. She's already there for the uh, the 200 flies, we know. What an effort. 52-3-5, 52-5-9, 52-7-6 and 52-9-2. The first four, all under 53. And Gian is down there with two returning Olympians. Oh, my goodness. What a race, you two. Absolutely sensational. Emma McKean, you are on fire this meet. Well done. Thank you. Um, yeah, I've been pretty happy with how I've been swimming this week. Um, obviously, this is the Olympic trials, not the Olympics, so that's where the pressure is. And obviously, to make the team, there's a lot of pressure, but um, my focus now that I've made it is on the Olympics in five weeks. Commonwealth record in the 100 fly, PB in the 200 free. I know you won't be over the moon with that time, but as you said, you've booked an individual spot in the 100 free to Tokyo. Yeah, I wasn't in the 100 free last Olympics, so it'll be fun to be a part of. Um, and I guess the fact that I swam 52-1 this morning, that shows I can swim fast in the morning, which definitely gives me confidence for Tokyo. You always have a big program. You're going to have a huge program in Tokyo once again. Congratulations, Emma. That was sensational tonight. Thank you. Over to you, Kate. We've had to wait until night five to say, Kate Campbell, you're going to your fourth Olympics. Well done. You think it's been hard on you? I've had to sit around and watch everyone. Um, relief that is just the providing, presiding uh, emotion for me right now. I, yeah, wh who would have thought? I dreamt of going to the Olympics when I was nine years old. Uh, most people get to do it once in their life, and here I am, nearly 30 years old, <laughs> 
getting to go to my fourth. It's honestly a dream come true. And can we just take a look at that scoreboard for a second? I was about to say that really. And can we just appreciate the depth of talent that we have in the women's 100 metre freestyle in this country? That is a world class scoreboard. And we have that in Australia, in a country that only has 23 million people. <laughs> What an event to be a part of. Four of you under the 53 second mark, just extraordinary. You've been here three times before. It doesn't get any easier, does it? No, it doesn't. I, I almost think my easiest Olympics was when I was 16, because when you're 16, you know everything. And now I'm 29 and I realise I know nothing. <laughs> um, but no, I am so stoked to have booked my spot on that plane. Let's go, Tokyo. We have five weeks to go. We're so proud of both of you. Congratulations, Emma. Congratulations, Kate. You are going to Tokyo, ladies.